Hi, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing really, really well. And as we look at the last week of November, we will look at the cards and we'll focus on the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a couple of Oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. So we have the Ace of Cups, we have the Two of Wands, and we have the Page of Swords. With the Ace of Cups, we see the hand here coming out of the sky, holding the cup. From the cup is flowing five streams of flowing water. And we see the dove ahead or above the cup. And you know, when we see aces, it, they're gifts or blessings from the universe. So the universe is saying to you, uh, here's the cups. It's the vessel that holds your hopes, your desires, your feelings. Uh, this is a message of listening to your feelings, of going with the flow, and uh, being in touch with your feelings as well. Often this is associated with the potential of a, an enriching emotional experience coming to you. Whether that's a bond with a friend, a connection with someone, or a relationship, or a deepening uh, w with a partner, this is what the Ace of Cups brings. It's a, it's a beautiful card of opening your heart and, and getting in touch with your feelings. So uh, it's really connecting to others and connecting in a meaningful and uh, pure way because with the water, water is a, you know, it's a symbol of purity. So uh, keep your eyes open for these wonderful opportunities to enrich your own life and your own feelings and your feelings of joy of you know, being with other people. With the two of wands, we see this man here. He's got this beautiful, looks like a burnt orange or red cape. He's holding the globe. We've got two wands here. He's got one hand on the wand, but he's got two wands. And out here is the, ma the mountains and the, and the water and the horizon. Often with twos, it's about choices and about paths or about duality. With this two of wands, it can be something as I'm thinking about, am I going to commit and stay with my family and my obligations? Or am I going to pursue something new under the guise of the pleasure principle of, of finding something that brings me joy? Uh, you know, do I have to leave behind the stability and move on to something different to find uh, you know, happiness and excitement and adventure. So with this two of wands, it's like, you know, this wand could be one choice. This one could be another choice and it could be simpler choices. It could be relationships. If you're dating a couple of folks and you have options, uh, this two of wands is really, if you think about the globe in his hand, he has the world in his hands and really the ball is in his court. So the ball is in your court and the decisions that you make and the actions that you take are going to dictate your path. So you need to understand what the big picture is, what the global picture is. You have to understand really both sides in order for you to make the best decision for you. And whatever choice you make, you know, with this one's energy and particularly with all of the, the red or the, this uh, burnt orange color, you know, it's a sense of enthusiasm. It's the passion of the wands is that in order for you to be successful, you're really going to have to follow what ignites you, what, uh, what drives you. And um, I'm looking for the word, I can't think of it, but it's, uh, it's really what makes you want to work hard and to take risks or to change things up within your life. It's that uh, sense within. 
And then we have the, the Page of Swords. And page, pages are youthful, dynamic energy, learning the experiences of their suit, of, of the air suit, of intellectual um, and opinions and reason, uh, rational or reasonable thinking. So this, this page in this illustration, you can see the clouds are gray, the wind is whipping this tree, and really his hair is blowing in the wind as well. He's holding on to this sword, and you know it's a big sword. It's, it goes out of frame. So what does that tell us? It tells us that we're in command. We're in a position here either to strike or to defend, and that if adversity or obstacles come our way, you know, we're going to be ready to face them so long as we capture and use some of these qualities of the Page of Swords, which is being uh, clear-headed, making uh, informed decisions, doing your homework on a matter, researching, and um, really being prepared in many ways. And, and the Page of Swords goes to how we think. And so situations on Sunday may require flexible thinking. It may require some type of new thinking or a new approach. Uh, and, you know, really it's a uh, communication is strong with the Page of Swords and clarity. That's what he brings. And he brings this, this sense of readiness, looking over his shoulder, hair blowing in the wind, of ready to face whatever may come your way. And really, um, with any core card, this could be qualities that you would benefit from or perhaps someone who has these qualities within your circle. So this is a, you know, he's looking here at the cups and maybe he's pursuing love. Maybe it's, he's got love on the mind or a relationship and maybe it requires movement or travel. Uh, but the Ace of Cups is about a really deep emotional experience, whether it's love that's platonic or love that's romantic. It's really opening your heart and letting the love flow right into it. And the choices that we make in order to bring that love to fruition. Be clear about it. Think about these things. Be, be informed with whichever way you pursue. Let's take a look at the numbers. We have um, one and two is three and four. Four is about a firm foundation, a stability, family and a sense of security. Let's also pick an oracle, and this is the Keepers of the Light Oracle by Kyle Gray. I like this deck. I think it has nice messages. It's simple and, and effective. I hope you agree. Okay. Karma releasing, move beyond drama. Create your own path. Make room for good energy. Well, making room for good energy is um, uh, get a sense with the swords here of just cutting the nonsense out with this big sword. And, uh, you know, this is in frame here, but um, allowing, allowing all the good to come into your, into your environment. You might have to do some trimming. You may have to do some legwork here in order to uh, reposition things, but focus on the positive. And, you know, you get to a certain point in life when drama is just like you just say no more. Just stop. So um, create your own path. And again, create your own path as I'm looking at this Saint Germain. He's going to create his own path. So I wish you the very best on Sunday. I hope it's a great day for you. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, or comment. It's a great way to stay connected, to show support. And I appreciate, uh, I, I just love reading the comments and interacting with you. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's, uh, I would greatly appreciate it, and I think it's super awesome. I thank all folks who take the time to watch 
um, my readings. So come back again tomorrow for another daily tarot reading. Take care. Bye-bye.